Now, um, we're done with um, talking about the Newton's third law. We have shown you that it's basically, as I said, an English class. You just inter interchange the, the action, the objects. If you have an action force, it's it right as F exerted by A on B, and then interchange A and B, you'll get the reaction force. And important thing here is action reaction pairs, they will never act on the same object. They will act on two different objects. Okay, we will apply now our what we learned so far in this so called free body diagram. So, ano yung mga free body diagrams? Yan? Ano sabihin yan? You have your free body diagrams. A free body diagram is a sketch that depicts an object as a point and all the fa forces acting on it drawn as vectors. The important term here is this on here. Lahat ng force na kung saan nag act dun sa object, yun lang yung interesado ka. Okay. So for example, here you have a runner. Uh, there are forces acting on this runner, the um, vertical force here, some weight, and the force uh, exerted by this block on the runner. So may mga forces na nag-act sa kanya, and it will give rise to its acceleration once it starts yung, yung, yung gun and mag start yung, yung race. So, further, uh, of course, you have um, this... Oh, sakto, kasi start lang ng NBA ngayon, di ba? Tama, di ba? So yun. Uh, and you have normal force and weight here. We have different... And we can express... Um, this um, this man here as a single as a single object kaya nga siya free body kasi hindi mo tinalagay yung environmental stuff tinatanggal mo siya sa environment kaya siya free body okay that's why it's free body diagram you all you isolate the object and then you draw forces on it okay so yan ano yung mga guidelines dyan we have a problem solving guide in drawing your free body diagrams kasi maraming nalilito pa rin dito so first, draw a free body diagram for each body. Wag masyadong ambitious, one body, one free body diagram. Especially for those who are beginners. Dun sa mga nalilito pa, one body, one free body diagram. And then, represent a particle as a single dot. Again, we're talking of particles here. Therefore, isang dot lang makikita dyan. And then, show only the forces acting on the object, but not objects acted upon by that object. Again, we're only interested on those forces that are affecting that particular object you're considering. Hindi ka import, hindi sa'yo interesado kung ano yung inact nung, nung object na yun. Now, of course, that object will exert a force on another object, and in return, by Newton's third law, that second object will exert a force on the object you're considering. Hence, you can verify action-reaction pairs using Newton's third law. Magamitin mo pa rin yung force yun, but Instead of having a forward force, you have a backward force. You check the reaction to that force. Kaya importante ang Newton's third law dito. And then, the net acceleration is not part of the free body diagram. Dapat wala dyang MA vector. So for example, if you draw your free body diagram, dapat walang MA. Like for example here, this is wrong. Kasi nilagay mo si MA. Again, MA is not a force. Hindi yan force. Therefore, wala dapat yung MA na yan. But you can always write your MA kasi especially when we go to dynamics of particles, mas maganda kung alam nyo kung saan papunta yung, saan yung, yung acceleration ng particle. And hence, you can all still write it, pero wag mong ikakabit sa dot. Just like this one. Okay? We are just specifying that the acceleration will go here. Or the particle, um, assuming that the particle is at rest initially, the particle will go in this direction. And hence, this is the correct version of how to write your free body diagram. Malinaw ba yun? Malinaw ba? Malinaw? Yes, sir. Okay, I hope this is clear. Okay. 